I like stage best of all because it's, it's live every night and if I didn't get the laugh I knew I didn't do something that I shouldn't be doing and you have time to rehearse with each other and you're included, the audience is included. included. I, I, I didn't include you in Gilligan's Island because you were watching it on TV. So the live part of it to me is the most important. But it's art and whatever you're creating, maybe you like to paint, you know, m maybe it's math that you enjoy. Find your soul and if you can earn a living doing something that your soul reimburses you for it, that's what life's all about, I feel. So, I have just uh, kind of a, a last question uh, about, about the island and the show. Did you have a sense when, as you were uh, an actor at threshold of career, did you have a sense that, that this thing was going to work? The show? Yeah. I don't know, because the critics hated us. And they thought it was the stupidest thing, and every time we... we got the highest rating every week. But we had an incredible cast and an incredible comedy timing. The casting was the most important. The skipper was the exact size of my dad. So every time he picked me up, my daddy was picking me up. Gilligan was so smart. You have no idea what a smart man he was. He'd be solving puzzles all day long. So we became a family, and I think that's why you liked us all. We were part of your household as well. Well, I have to say, uh my, I would say that my hat is off to you, but I like to keep it covered. <laughs> um, I understand that, of course. And uh, that said, I, I don't want to be coy about this, but you have retained beauty within and without. Uh, <laughs> and, and Thank you. Thank you. I, I honestly, I, I wonder, uh, the within part comes from the heart and the soul. How have you done so spectacularly well with the without? It's all paint. <laughs> I learned how to do that real well, it's all paint. And I, I don't have children. And that's the thing that I miss most than anything. But doing the Children's Miracle Network for so many years has given me the opportunity of connecting with those babies. And if you've got some babies, I'll connect with you too. I think we have to, in our hearts, we can't do everything we want to do, we can't be everything we want to be, but there's something in your soul and in your heart you need to explore, you need to satisfy. And it can't be everything. And you can go around saying I'm unhappy and I didn't get this and I didn't get that, but there is something there that you can grasp and, and, and succeed in it. That's my feeling. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Don Wells, you've made a very special day for us here in little old Lancaster, California. We'd like to think that uh, this is also a very special day. And so we have uh, brought just a little bit of observation and celebration for you. Mr. Rick Medlin, Jr., AKA Rat Pack Ricky, hey. here Rat Pack he Ricky. comes. Wow, what does that mean? Are you a Rat Packer? Uh, yeah, I sing Korean music, but I, I have a special gift for you today. And uh, if everybody wants to sing along, please sing along. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Don. Happy birthday to you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be 25 in an hour. Thank you. And I'm 39. And you're 39. Okay. How do I get off this week? Thank you, thank you so much. Don Wells, the real life Mary Jane.